Hello everybody, this is Eric from WordPressCoffee.org. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress locally on the WAMP server on Windows 7, 8, or XP, or Vista, whichever you have. Now, the first thing you want to do is install WAMP server. This is going to give you Apache, MySQL, and PHP, which is going to, you know, you're going to need in order to install WordPress. So you're going to need PHP for the programming language, which is the programming language that you need to basically, that it basically WordPress is built on. And then MySQL is the database that we're going to use to interact, to build um, the tables for all the posts and all the pages that WordPress uses. And obviously Apache is just a web server that's going to tie everything together. Now go ahead and download the the, the version that of um, that you want, the 64-bit or 32-bit from um, webserver.com slash en or whichever language you have. Um, it's just a simple quick install. Click next. It's a, it's a wizard. I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed. If I install it, it's going to erase every single thing I have. So just go ahead and click it, download it, install like every single other application you've done. Now you want to download WordPress from wordpress.org slash download. Go ahead and download the the zip folder here. So click this. I already have it um, downloaded, so I'm just going to open it. Um, so you're going to have a folder here called WordPress. Now, when you install WAM server, uh, which is here, I already have it um, as a shortcut here. You could, you should be able to create a shortcut. Just type in WAM server here, and then just drag it to your desktop, and you should be able to have a a, a, sh a shortcut here as well. So make sure that um, when you install WAM server, you're gonna have a folder here. So if you install it in the default directory, it's gonna be on your under the C drive, and then you're gonna have WAM here. Now on the WAM folder here, you're gonna have a www folder this is where you're going to put all your projects or if you have multiple wordpress websites you're developing at the same time then inside here is where you would put all the websites and all the wordpress installations so here's what i'm going to drag in the wordpress folder that we downloaded from the website now the wordpress folder actually is just going to be named wordpress but you want to rename it if you're going to do different websites because later on you're going to create more and more and you, you cannot have the same name because you're going to access it through the URL the same way which you'll see in a minute now you can, you can rename it whatever you want I'm just going to rename it as my website so I'm just going to call it coffee okay now you could open it in your favorite text editor I'm just going to open it in sublime text 3 which is my favorite so you can go ahead and drag it Okay, so you're going to have all this structure here, and um, the one that we're concerned with here is the WP slash config here, which is, where is it at? Okay, the sample here. Now, it doesn't accept this file by default. You're going to have to create WP slash config.php. This is the sample. So go ahead and create a new folder here, a new file. Okay, hold on. Okay, never mind. This didn't work. <laughs> I have a freaking I have a, an extension that didn't work right now. Um, so go ahead and and um, copy and paste all this to this file here to the new one, and you're gonna you want to save it. Save it as wp config slash php. So it's gonna be under the same the same directory, the root directory and copy. So you can see it's it's right under the WP slash um, sample. So you can go ahead and close the other one. Now I forgot to mention if you don't have um, a way to open the the WordPress zip, you can go ahead and download seven zip here. Okay. Now the next thing we're gonna need is a way to interact with the database. We need to create a database in order to store all the all the database um, tables for all the posts and all the categories and all that stuff. Now you can use the built-in tool of WAMP server, which is PHP my admin, but this is not a very good tool. Trust me, you're gonna get you're gonna go so slow eventually if you do any serious PHP development. So my recommendation is for you to actually buy Navicat, or you can download it, you know, if you can find it somewhere. Um, which that's what I'm gonna use. So make sure that you have. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Make sure that you have WAMP server running. It should be under your little tray under the green. If you don't. Just double click on this and it should come out as this little um, user account control. Click yes and it will take a little while for it to start. It's going to start in red, then in orange, then in green. So green means go. If you don't have a green, you're not going to be able to create a database because Apache is not running. So go ahead and open your um, your database um, tool. My, in my case, it's Navicat. So I'm going to go ahead and click on WAMP because I already have it installed. 
um, it's going to create a connection here with WAMP, which basically is a connection to Apache from um, the WAMP server. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new um, a new database. Actually, I already created one here, but that doesn't matter. So I'm just going to create a new one here called um, Coffee Two. And notice here that it doesn't have any any tables. It's completely empty, and that's fine. Okay, so now just go ahead and close it. That's all we need. WordPress is going to do all the heavy lifting for us. But what you do need is actually go to your wp.config file and scroll down here. And inside here, this is where you're going to put all the information. So for database name, we're just going to call it Coffee2 because that's the one I created right now. For the user, we're going to call it root. And for WAMP server, if you're under Windows, there's no password. So you just go ahead and, and leave that blank. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this. Um, local hold, you can just leave it as this is and just close it if you want. Now, everything's already set up. That's all you need to do for WordPress. All you want to do now is head over to the to the localhost uh, installation folder. So let me just put this here. Um, notice that we had it here under the WAMP, the www folder, and I have it under coffee. Whatever I have here under the root directory of um, www, it's going to be localhost. So if I access localhost, it's going to it's going to access all these folders here. So I'm just going to click enter here, and notice that it has all the folders here. Now, in order to access the the particular folders that you want, you're just gonna you're just gonna go with the with the slash so slash, and then in my case, it's gonna be coffee, and hit enter, and it should take you to the five minute install for WordPress. So the the site name I'm just gonna call it coffee, actually WordPress, coffee.org. I'm doing a little bit of advertising, coffee, password. Uh, make sure you remember this. I'm just gonna put a fake password, coffee as well email um, I would suggest you actually do put your real email in here because sometimes you do forget the password and you know it does happen it has happened to me quite a while and you can actually retrieve it even though it's on your local directory so go ahead and do it um, so Eric at WordPress coffee slash org and don't index this it doesn't really matter um, hit install and if everything goes correctly it should just basically do a simple install And it's taken a while, but okay, WordPress has been installed. Okay, so everything's good. So we just log in just as normally with our username and our password. <laughs> okay, and there we go, guys. If you have any questions or you run into problems, go ahead and put it in the comment section and I'll try to help you so much. Most likely, the problems you're going to be having is the WAMP server um, with the PHP. Um, PHP my uh, what's it called PHP INI file the initialization file typically it's gonna if you run into problems try to check the options here I know that sometimes you're gonna need to um, to enable a couple of packages where is this uh, the modules I mean for Apache okay so if you're running into problems and it tells you that a particular theme or a particular WordPress installation needs a particular package for from Apache make sure you go here and go to the modules and you can just click on each one here I know that for some of them you're gonna need to use curl and it's not installed by default um, it's somewhere on here I'm not even gonna bother looking at it. I think I already enabled it but if it's not enabled then you need it just 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 select it and it should be it should be there already alright guys thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and go to my website